Look at that. Ain't that lovely? Isn't that just so beautiful? This game, those trophies that aren't that hard to get. Anyways, we're doing it. Psychonauts. Hey, hello. How's it going, everybody? We're playing Psychonauts PS4 edition. And cover your fucking eardrums. Because if I remember correctly, the intro is super loud as shit. It's louder than the whole damn game. Anyways. Welcome to Psychonauts. Hi. Hello. It's me, your friendly neighborhood loser. And... We're gonna play... We're gonna play a... A, a double fine game. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna lower this audio because I'm not sure if it's too loud or not. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it to here. There we go. We're gonna play a double fine game. Look at me walking on this brain. Isn't that cool? It's fucking nasty. You hear those squishy sounds. Ugh. It is gross. Anyways. New game. The human mind. Oh, there's no subtitles in this, by the way, so I'm gonna be quiet. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. Fifteen hundred grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. That's creepy. Why'd you say it like that? That's fucking gross. You are Sexualizing brains. Soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> you just talk to a bunch of kids. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, children, you are not going to die. Then you might as well be Yet, dead. anyways. They told me this was a summer camp. <laughs> well, they fucking lied to you. Ah, oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me. Nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. I'd be more worried about catching gingivitis from that dude. Scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Bodello. Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? Invader Zim. Get, get in. Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> starts with a D. Everybody calls me Raz. Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. 
I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? L listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. The fuck that did he just do? Did he just... <laughs> he just... He just, he just tried to touch his own uvula? What the hell is that? Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. Wait, isn't this a highly, like highly a secure training facility? Why the fuck are you handing out pamphlets? And your father looks at you with shame. <laughs> and I love Dogen. He's like, my mom's, my mom's scared of me. Spring Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, <laughs> in this, why get so serious? Dojo, he turned his head, he said, call me a freak? A hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Damn, you're about to make Mr. Potato Head cry. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. I won't let you participate in any training without wow, your consent. You you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find? What they don't expect is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. What? Do you do that? No. Well. <laughs> He's like, wait, you do that? But <laughs> now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. I'm not sure if that's an in-game cutscene or not. Because it's not... It's not like rezzed up like the rest of the game, but I just saw the fucking arrowhead in the background glow, uh, glow up or whatever. Anyways, welcome to my game. Look at my save files. Razzle dazzle. Raz pizzazz. <laughs> Raz frazzle. I have a problem. I need help. Let's see which bunk do I want. <laughs> Dogen just sucking his thumb at the bottom of the bunk. All right. I want a bunk above the crying kid. His cries will soothe me in my sleep. All right. Let's see. Raz. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a clever one. Because you can't fit that many letters here. I got it. Oh, wait. Hold up. I got to Wow. Why did it overwrite Raz? Why did it do that? Let's see. Where's the L? Here it is. Damn it. I'll do it the stupid way then. Raz Jazzle. That's right. Come on, PS2. You can do it. Save it. There you go. 
PS2 that's supposed to be a PS4 that's actually a PS5. We can do it. <laughs> All right, Is Razzis? Oh, shit. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you rugs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early Why are you bird. so fucking loud? The worms. Got it? Now, lights out! I'm gonna lower that. It's pretty loud. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. I'm trying to get this uh, no, audio way. correct. All right. Wow. What's yeah, 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 I got you. Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh huh. Now look up for me if you will. Looking up. Up there. Mm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you, have you find bits of them flipping and flapping the all over the place. Them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? Does Raz's face so reminds anybody of the B-movie? Because it does for me, and I feel bad. I feel bad about that, because this came out before the B-movie. I think this is... What, what year did this game come out? Is this 2000 and... It's either 4, hey, Raz, 5, or 6. I don't remember. You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! The... Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Why are some of the characters so loud? Hey, congratulations, you found a loose side card. That's crazy, go buy some quarters. Level up. Make sure you pull one of these out. Alright. Before we do anything, before we do anything, I'm gonna go into my options. Sounds. Cause shit is going crazy. Oh, there are subtitles. Fuck yeah. Music. Music? I don't remember music being loud in this game at all. Sound effects? Maybe? I'm gonna lower those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower that. Like to hear. Master volume. Master volume is fine. Fuck it. Voices. Maybe I'll lower them a little bit. Because some of them are like fucking loud as shit. I don't know why. Anyways, so some of you may be asking, why the hell are we playing Psychonauts? Number one, because I love this game. Number two, because this month, Psychonaut 2 comes out. Isn't that fucking crazy? Isn't that insane? So, what's really funny is that I've tried to record this game. Well, actually, I had a playthrough of this game up already a long time ago. And it was a full playthrough, and it was pretty okay. I wasn't... I wasn't ashamed of it or anything, but for some reason, I felt like I can do it better. I can do it better, you know? So I said, fuck it. Here we are. So, we're gonna be 100%ing the game. Straight up. That means we're gonna get all the figments. Which is pain in the ass to do. Because some of them are, like, hard to see. We're gonna collect... Uh, all the brains and stuff like that, you know. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves, right? Because some of you guys may have never played and or seen this game, and you've been hearing about the Psychonauts 2 for years. First it was crowdfunded, then fucking Microsoft bought Double Fine. Why am I fucking up so bad? What's going on here? What's wrong with me? Right? And now... Even though the game's coming out on... Well, forget about that. There's the, uh, Ramos of Ruins, which was on the PS VR, which I have. I bought that when that came out. And played it. Played it. I bought it when it came out, and I played it when it was out, and I never touched it again. Not because it was bad, just because PS VR is hard. What are you doing here? You know here? cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight, when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. 
Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a oh, little fuck bit more that about kid. this than you do, okay? This guy. I worse, did you possibly mean the best? Stupid because lame that's people. What I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, I'm Phoebe. And I think you'll find all. that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? No, I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. <laughs> no way! Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like what part the of the show if we named the fuck am I right listening to? Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please. Would you please welcome... No. The Firestarters. Oh, man. <sighs> If what the fuck? That, we might as well call it burning. <laughs> Shut up! What? Can't see anything. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah. What the fuck? Because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Hey, how's If you guys are that worried night? about it, shouldn't you, you go it, too? Itchy? What the? F I said All right. Anyways, itchy? here's the. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Anyways, before we get started, a couple of things. This game has a lot of personality and a lot of character and a lot of, like, things to listen to. We're not going to see it all. I highly, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you go out and buy this game yourself. Buy it off of Steam. I think Steam is the best version of this game. Um, and the game, when I got it, it was... Ten dollars on the PSN store, and that was like years ago. Uh, unless you have like an original Xbox version of it or whatever. But yeah, go get this game. It's not that much. It's a good game if you want to check everything out yourself. That's cool. But um. I'm telling you for the last time, <laughs> no. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh. Hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yogi, why is yeah. your lighting all fucked I'll up? I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. Did you blow him up? <laughs> he blew up the squirrels. <laughs> that kid's a psychopath. Anyways, yeah, so there's a lot in this game. I can spend a fucking hour talking to you about it, but let's just, you know, hit the road, do what we gotta do. And just sit back and enjoy some Psychonauts. Get involved in... Get, you know, hey, you get going? lost in this world and shit. Shh, it's great. I love it. Out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, what the fuck happened to the subtitles? At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind. And then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late. Bobby! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service! Cough it Bro, up your gums are two different there. colors. Oh well, my god. A bloody tear. Make me hey, uncomfortable. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. 
Really? Because you Dude, you have a noodle mac. Candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. <laughs> Dude, I just... Listen. I understand he's the bad character in this game, right? But I just want to, like... God, I just want to, like, karate chop his neck. You know what I mean? Just free-ass Adam's apple. Just get him. Right? What the f... <laughs> you okay? She's having a, she's having a moment. Oh shit, I didn't mean to like bump her. God damn it, stop it, just look at her. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops, sorry. Damn, caught. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Well, maybe Actually, I yeah. for a bit more before, just so I'm prepared for class. No hurry, no hurry. Enjoy your childhood before it's ripped away from you, son. Coach Oleander, you gotta brush your teeth hey, more, man. What are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. Whoa. How does it work? I don't have time to explain the technology to you. Well, fuck you, too. Anyways, this idiot thinks hey, uh, they're an alien. Chloe, go away, Raz. I'm working. Yeah, fuck you, Chloe. Anyways, you all right. Sure basic braining. Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Well then, you're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me twenty. I just realized he had like a skull on his little like tie, so, not tie. What what the hell you call it? I don't know, a little fluff it. thing in his coat. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids, and I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world, being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? That kid's face looks like it's melting. Chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you. Once you do... War is on. I volunteer as tribute. Ah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Charge! <laughs> what the fuck? What, what happened to your voice? A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. This kid's game, he just cursed at me. I'm telling my mom on you. Alright. So. This game. It's basically just a fucking collect-a-thon. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, if you like platformers, you're in for a good ride, you know? Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through pigments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a pigment, suck it up, soldier. Come on. 
All right, your first figment, collect 100 figments and you'll get a level up. Isn't that cool? That you collect figment. them in your journal, keep up, track of them. Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. You say, listen, kid, I can't pay for a therapist, so you're gonna have to help me out, okay? There it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now. You hit that Unless you want to hear a grown man cry. Show it who's boss. I love how happy the emotional baggage looks. He's like, yay! Literally sorting out your emotional baggage. Isn't that cool? Huh. This game seems to be running a lot better on the PS5. I mean, that's no surprise, but on the PS4, there, there were like some frame skippage here and there. But it's like really smooth here. I have yet to, like, witness any weird feelings, up, you know? Alright, so, with the figments, there's a lot of them in every level, and they move around, and we're gonna have to come back to levels to get them. So, for the most part, I eh, don't worry about the fire, it's fine. For the most part, with the figments, uh, if they're, if they're out of my way to get for the moment, I will not grab them. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Bobby dumped his foot, that's what! You stupid new kid! Yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh! I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. I love Lily. <laughs> She's my favorite. <laughs> oh, man. Your stereotypical self righteous goth girl. <laughs> right. She's cool, though. Come on. One nightmare. Nope. Aww. All right. What's this over here? Classified route? I'll take it. Alright. I never really liked these platforms here. I feel like they always fuck up my momentum, even though they don't. <laughs> they don't affect your momentum whatsoever, from what I remember. But they feel so weird to jump on. There we go. And sometimes you can over jump. All right. Cool. I'm gonna hop back down because I'm gonna try and grab as many as many figments as I can while I'm here. But if they're too, you know, out of the way, I'm not gonna grab them until we come back later. Because sometimes you have to come back to grab them. There we go. I cannot wait until I get the level tate ability. It's so fun. In the fucking PC version, with the level tate ability, oh my god, with the level tate ability, you can like mash the shit out the button and you can basically just fly. All right. And here's the fucking figments that I hate and can't stand—the ones that move around and shit. Cause you gotta like wait for them. And sometimes, because they're 2D, right? They're not 3D objects, they're 2D. Your fucking... 
like the death, the field of death is all fucked up. I really hope that in the sequel that they make it easier to grab these damn things. Oh, hold up. I get a new power at rank 10, that's cool. Come on, bring the plane over here. I... Oh! Thought I was gonna die. All right. This way. What I really like about the figments is that in every world they all uh, have like their own thing. So here in Coach Oleander's brain, all the figments are like war related. It's like soldiers and fucking bayonets shit. That kid got blown up. <laughs> Is your name Joey? No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You. You're talking too slow. <laughs> Alright. So speaking about slow, right? And speed. Tell I was never the type of person who, uh, I'm gonna have to fucking lower that in my headset because you're so loud, Oleander. God damn it. <laughs> so I was never the type of person who liked speedruns because I just, I never understood it. It's like, play the game as fast. Well, let me take that back. Hold up. Hold up. Because that sounds really ignorant. I never, uh, I understood it, but I never thought... It was entertaining to watch, I guess, right? I guess the viewing aspect of it bothered me. But, um, oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? What the? Are there figments in here? Get mental health, blah, blah, blah. Oh, there are. It's emotional baggage. I'm gonna come back here with a tag. Yeah, but anyways, I never, like, understood watching them, right? Until... Um, Double Find had a, had a nice little stream that they did in which they had a speedrunner come over and speedrun the shit out of this game. And you can find it on their YouTube channel, right? It's heavily edited, which kind of sucks because I, I really wish they had the full, the full version available. But watching that and just watching the devs go like, what the fuck, man? We worked really hard on that. And you just, <laughs> you just skipped over it. Makes me sad. Hey, slow down, kid. No. No. And Bobby will pound you down. No, you can't tell me. You can't tell me what to do. Where are you? Watch those mines, kid. I'll blow you up like a ten-cent kazoo. Hey, Dogan. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. Oh, oh, see, when you blow things up, it's okay. But now that you're blowing up, it's not okay. He's doing the, he's doing the fucking, the Cupid shuffle. <laughs> Follow, me. Follow me, Dogan, I'll I got you. The mines. Okay. So this is completely optional. You don't have to help Dogan, but I love helping Dogan every time. So it's pretty easy to do. I can't do right? it. Do I Dogan? Can't do it. Follow yes, me. You can, Dogan. Just follow me. Okay. You just got to talk to him. Every time he stops, why the fuck are you going towards the mines? I've never seen you do that shit before. I can't do it. I can't. Yes, you can, Dogan. You just gotta press just triangle on him. Okay. Come on, Dogan. Uh, which way are we going? We're going this way, Dogan. I can't do it. I can't do it. Dogan, shut yes, the can, fuck up. Dogan. Just follow me. Okay. Alright. Now we're just gonna. Just gonna go through here. It's nice that the hitboxes on these aren't that big. And then you're pretty much through it, Dogan. Come on. I can't do it. I can't. Dogan, you're right here. Let's go. Just follow me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love how easily persuaded he is. See, you did it, Dogan. Get get the fuck over here. Look, you're like the last I didn't explode it all. Good hustle out Let's there. Crush okay. it. There you go, Dogan. And he gives you some arrowheads. You're gonna need a lot of these. 
you're going to need a lot of these. It's going to be a pain in the ass. You're going to need a lot of those arrowheads. Uh, oh, there's a figment. Oh, ow! That did a lot of damage. I've never gotten hit by one of those. I lost a life from that. Holy shit. Where the fuck did the fragment go? Oh, there it is. Not fragment, f figment. The figment of my imagination. Can you get over here? It's a dude with a goddamn metal detector. He's playing Minesweeper. Literally playing Minesweeper. Get the fuck over here. Pain in the ass. Where, where'd it go? This is what I mean. This is what I mean. It turns into a 2D image. Come here! I don't even know how far you are. Got it. I don't care. I got it. Oh, I didn't lose a life from that. It's just... Re well, isn't that nice? I guess... I guess that doesn't take a life from you. Just in case you're having a hard time with Dogen. The plane's going down, soldier! Hit that door and Geronimo! Oh. Hey, Come here. no one told me to pack a shoot. Washington Come here! When he crossed the Delaware? Just jump, what? Sissy. <laughs> Did well, Washington have a suit? We're all going to die. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. My first memory is of my dog, Lady. Lady and I used to go for long walks. They would go on and on and on and on. This one time, we went on a walk we called the longest walk of all time. First, we went to the end of our street. And then Lady had to go to the back. And then we made a U-turn. And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. And then we turned left. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. And then we walked three miles. And then we turned a soft right. And then we got lost for a while. And then I gave Lady a bone. <laughs> what is this game? And then Lady went right. And then Lady went left. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. <laughs> darn game we can't do it what yeah, are you abominations and the coach won't open the gate until someone wins yay Raz! just punch that to start you guys are disturbing <laughs> i don't like how happy you are you score enough points on this course kid and i'll give you a reward all right Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. <laughs> fuck, I hit a baby. Hey, Shit. Good job, soldier. Now here's your reward. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, Coach Oleander. Alright, I'm gonna up the volume on some of the voices because some voices are affected by it. Why? while others aren't really most people they got something to hide they store away their shame their dirty little secrets in these tiny vaults in their minds but the enemy has not allowed any secrets in wartime are they soldier so go ahead and bust open this vault i got nothing to hide and then you just see coach oleander in like a furry outfit He's like, welcome to FurryCon. What? Am I? I thought I was stuck for a moment. 
This little guy can teleport you to checkpoints. Cool. We'll use him like a total of maybe three times throughout this game. Oleander's Pride. I fucking love these. Look at him. Whoa. Well, I, I was about to say a little stubby man, but he's tall. He has long legs. Charging into battle. He's fearless. Riding on a rocket like he's fucking Snake from Twin Snakes. Helping the poor. Kid's not really poor. He's just, he's just injured, you know? He was a, an army man. You Enjoy that. The end. One of my favorites. Yep. Alright. Make sure you watch out over here. Because Jackass over there is in like this mini gun. Move, bunny rabbit! He just blew up a bunny rabbit. So adorable and stupid. I love him. Oh shit. Ow, fuck. You shot me. I'm a child. Alright, cool. Now that's deactivated. Let me just grab the figments that I missed. Ba -da -ba -ba. That's a lot of them. See, look at this. Look at this one. Like, this shit's hard to see, man. And it's on a white background. Ridiculous. Good thing that they give you, like, a tally, right? To tell you if you're missing any or not. There's, like, this one level where I was missing, like, fucking, what, two of them? For the longest time? And then when I found out where they were, I lost my shit. I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. Yep. That's cool. That's a nice trick. I like that. Because then you just do this. Oh, Mario Galaxy before Galaxy. I love it. Alright. I completely just walked past that figment. And I think there might be one down here? Or something like that? Get up there, Raz. Nope. What? Why'd you hop off the flagpole? There you go. Oh shit, I gotta go down here slowly. Cause I don't wanna have to- NO! <laughs> I don't wanna have to come back. There we go. Alright. You always want to grab these because they they give you a level up. Grab poles like that and swing on them. It's all about upper body strength, you know? Well, I was raised in the circus. So I'm a master at the trapeze. Grab the fucking figment. There you go. Make you press triangle. There you go. You press triangle, turn around. You have to do the swinging back and forth manually, too. Which makes it a little difficult. There we go. I think my leg's falling asleep on me. <laughs> the bag got sad for a moment. He said, where'd you go? I'm so, I'm so lonely. Alright. Forget about- Ow, fuck. I thought I could just go through the fire. I was like, I'll take the hit, why not? Ah, fuck. Am I really about to die on this, like an idiot? Let's not, let's not die on this, okay? Let me not be stupid. <laughs> Hold it there right we go. There, boy. That's a mental cobweb. Can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them. 
So this right here is the main reason why you're going to be coming back to levels, just to grab the cobwebs. You use them to turn them to, you weave the cobwebs into cards that can help you get level ups. They are needed for 100%ing the game. Now, before you ask, what do you get for 100%ing the game? You don't really get much besides, you know, the max level of 101. I think that's max level, right? I'm waiting for the fucking figment to come back. There you go. And, you know, with every 10 level ups, you get like a new ability. So, it's in your best interest to do it. Also, you get more health, I think. Yeah, you do get more health per level up, right? Yeah, you do. There's like something else that helps you with health, but I think they might contribute as level ups too. There we go. Oh my god, I can't believe- this game runs really good on the PS4. I mean, it's expected, because it's an old ass game, but like, the PS4... Well, this is the PS4 version, but when playing it on the PS4, even on the PS4 Pro, sometimes, like, the frame rate just, like, drops. But I had none of that so far with the PS5. I guess there might just be some, like, encoding thing fucked up with, like, the PS4 in general. For, like, uh, this game. Let me get off of this. Get off. There you go. You can hear the emotional baggage crying. Oh my god. Alright. Here we go. Oh, be quiet. Come to get you, emotional baggage. Make you feel good and happy about yourself. There he is. He's gonna go this way. Man, now that the frame rate isn't all over the place, I am more confident in my jumping. So adorable. All right. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. I'm not standing. What the fuck? <laughs> you have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. I'm a child. I'm a child doing child things. Alright. Go through here. I'm gonna... Oh, there's... There we go. There's one up here. Make sure you grab that. Oh, shit. Less waiting, more motivating! I'm trying my best, okay? I'm gonna grab the figments. Ah, there we go. How do I... Is it coming over here? I can't tell. I can't tell. Where is it? Can I grab it? No. Grab the ladder. Grab the ladder. Come on. like molasses going uphill in January. With crutches. <laughs> with crutches. I'd like to buy all your chocolate, please. Yes, sir. With or without hey, nuts. I think I see a silver dollar out there in that rail. Why don't you walk out there a bit and pick it up? Alright, I'm gonna have to be doing this silver rail like multiple times later on because there's figments on here. Ah, sucker! See you at the bottom! Less waiting, more motivating! Uh, figment. Nope, nope, damn it. Shit. End of the line, sucker. Fuck out the way, Bobby. <laughs> Alright. We'll come back for those segments later. figment behind me and I want it. Alright. 
So it's pretty easy to do, right? You just gotta wait. It rotates by itself. You gotta go at a pretty, pretty steady pace. I try not to jump as much though, because I just don't want to fuck it up. It's like a narrow ass walkway. I want those figments so bad. Come on. Up oh, there we are. Are there any more figments around me? Hello? Nope. Hello? Guess I'm early. I wonder what's behind here. Sam Hill, do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Chef Chef Toulouse.